see it even as I was spreading that. It's already starting to come out. You can see. Please don't forget to subscribe for more awesome vegan content. Hello, vegan food explorers. It is the morning in my house, so I'm going to be pretty quiet because it's still very, very early. I've got Mickey the cat circling me for his breakfast, so we're going to make it a short one. This review is of Plant Kitchen, which is M&S's own brand vegan food and um, vegan fruited luxury hot cross buns. As you can see, we like them. There's only one left, so I thought I'd get the review in. And also, I want to review this. This is the Flora Plant Butter Spreadable. And for me, it is the best vegan spread out there. It is so, so good. I absolutely love it, and I also love the packaging. So, we're going to toast up the um, hot cross buns. Just before we do that, I want to show you the hot cross bun. It's a bit squashed, um, so it doesn't look as attractive as it did. Uh, a day or so ago, but it's really, really nice. It doesn't look as soft and fluffy here, and it has, it's kind of squashed out, but normally they are really, really fluffy. But actually, I would say also quite, they're very dense, but they are fluffy, if that makes any sense. So they're definitely pretty substantial. You feel like you're you're really having a, um, it's, it's definitely something significant that you're eating, it's full of flavor, um, but good size looks good with the little cross on there it's got loads of currants in there if you can see it and it's got a nice coating on the top so i'm going to slice this and chuck it in the toaster so the butter i get a bit confused with flora butter because there's all different sorts but this is the best one in my opinion it's got really cool packaging it's it's very distinctive they also do the equivalent so this is the spreadable you can also get i guess it's kind of like the cooking equivalent where it comes in that paper pack folded up into a little parcel. This is the spreadable one. So this is the one you want if you're putting it on your toast or your hot cross buns, really, really nice. So yeah, they call it rich, creamy, um, and some might say dreamy. I would definitely say that, definitely. It costs £3.25, although you can get it on offer. I've seen it for £2.75, which is awesome. Um, basically the ingredients are plant oil. So it's got sunflower, coconut, rapeseed oil. It's got some water, sea salt, and then just a few other things. Um, but that makes it so smooth. So it's palm oil free, it's obviously dairy free, otherwise we wouldn't be on this channel. Um, and it's also obviously lactose free as well. So I really, really rate it because it's got these vegetable oils in, it is so smooth. I think on cold things, so if you just had a bit of cold sandwich, it's, it's great, it's really nice, it's rich in flavor. But where it really comes to life is because it's got those oils in, when you put it on something hot, like we're gonna do on this hot cross bun, it just melts amazingly. And it doesn't go into just a runny mess. It has that balance of where you still get the really delicious kind of butter, but then it's surrounded in all these just delicious, delicious kind of oils, in my opinion. And I ate a lot of butter growing up, a lot of different spreadable butters. This to me is the best, that's hot cross buns. Uh, this is the best spreadable butter vegan or non-vegan I've ever had. The flavor is just incredible, but for me, it's the versatility. If you're buying a spreadable butter, you want it to be spreadable, and this absolutely is. So, I'm gonna butter up the hot cross buns, then we're gonna do a taste test. So you can see, even as I was spreading that, it's already starting to melt. You can see, you've still got the bits that aren't melted, now these are literally just come out of the toaster, so they are definitely hot. It's hard to hold, but they're melted all inside of it. It's amazing, um, but it's still left these chunk bits here. So where it is thicker, it still doesn't, it doesn't all melt. It does a really, really nice job. So also look, check out the hot cross buns. They've toasted really nicely, kind of regained that proper shape burnt a little bit but I think that's probably more user error than the than the actual hot cross bun but look at that melt it's now seeped into the actual hot cross bun really really nice also you saw when I was spreading it's so easy to spread um yeah it's just super easy to spread right let's go for it I'm gonna go for a bite I forgot how good these are I had this a few days ago I haven't had one for a couple of days so so good the raisins are incredible <coughs> it's really light and fluffy. It's that, it is exactly what I said. It's light and fluffy, but still thick. You still get a lot. It's not like it just poofs, disappears into the air. It's still really substantial. It's got a real bite to it. You go through all of the different layers, <coughs> excuse me, where you've got 
the hard outer, kind of harder outer layer, you've got that um, cross, but then you've got this super soft interior bit, loads of raisins, my word, they don't um, shortchange you on the raisins. Really, really good. I believe these are about £1.75 for four, which is so such good value. And at the moment, I think, I assume, they, surely they must be on offer after Easter. So if you can still get them, definitely recommend it. If, you, if they have gone, which they might have done, wait till next year. But you can get the floral butter at the moment. Obviously, it's not an Easter product, so definitely recommend getting this. I think you'll probably never go back to any other butter. That's my opinion. Um, it also says climate footprint 0.5 ki kilograms. I don't actually know if that's any good. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it shows that together, they say together we can lower our climate impact. So I just love that, you know, I love it when a brand really gets their market. They know what they're doing. They want to make it delicious, spreadable. They've got the big, easy to see vegan logo. They don't skimp on the ingredients. It's an amazing product. And also they know that vegans, more stereotypically, are going to really care about um, climate footprint. And even if you're not vegan, if you're just looking to reduce your dairy, then that is gonna be something that's really, really good. I love it. It's even got the Dairy Free logo. Absolutely love it. I hope to see that on many more products, but hopefully that helps. Hopefully that, let me know if you have a better vegan spread. I highly doubt you will, but please let me know. I'm always willing to try a different one. Also, let me know if you tried any other hot cross buns apart from the plant kitchen ones, let me know and I can pick them up next year or I can try and find them this week. Let me know. But thank you for watching. I'm just going to get ready for work now. I'm going to be late. But of course, we'll see you in the next video.